All right, in our big pile of coronaphobia slave muzzle mask headline, we start with BuzzFeedNews.com's Shoppers confronted a couple wearing Nazi masks at a Walmart store. The woman told horrified shoppers she was wearing the swastika as a protest against Joe Biden. Of course, I, I mean, is it, that's odd now. <laughs> like, okay, all right. Hmm. Now, this is, I mean, this is like, ah, uh, there's so many different angles and knots to, to untie and, uh, and just untangle with this story. So many layers of stupid. It's just like, I, I don't, I almost don't know where to start, right? Like, First of all, the protest itself, right? Okay, and, and like by the way, I, I, you want to protest with like with with, with a swastika? I say more power to you. I'm not going to freak. I'm like I'm of Jewish heritage. Like actually, family members had to leave Europe to to avoid the Holocaust, right? Or at least to avoid World War II. And I, you want to like it's it's a symbol. Like dude, George Carlin, I leave the symbols to the symbol minded, right? If you. And, and I love that in, in the infiltration, cross-dressing, if you will, protester strategy, like, I'm going to go to a BLM movement, and I'm going to wear a, a Nazi armband to show that I, you know, because I believe that I, I want I want to look, I want them to look like Nazis. And that's, maybe that's not real. Like, okay, so like, I want to go to a Unite the Right rally, but you don't have to embarrass them any more than they embarrass themselves, you know? Chanting with Tiki George's Jews will not replace us. They don't really need a dude wearing a swastika in the crowd to make them look bad, right? But like you want you want to wear a swastika like to, to protest or to put it on a sign or to put it on a pat to be like, you know, like to use it. You know, I, a lot of uh, punk patch jackets have the swastika, you know, crossed out. Like, oh my God, you've got a swastika. Like, if you don't cross it out and you're using it in street theater and it's like, if you're against it, I, yeah, I don't care. But here they're like, this is really like it, the, 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 the depth of the stupidity of this. Like, okay, first of all, there are people being stupid, freaking out going, Oh my gosh, you're using a swastika to communicate something. Ow. Uh, my brain hurts. Go away. Right. Like, and th that's, that's one level of dumb here, but they say they're protesting Biden. I'm sorry. Who's president right now? Is is Joe Biden? Did, did he already win? Did I did I did I miss something? Is it did I did I fall asleep and 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 sleep for six months this this weekend? Like what what the hell is going on here? Joe Biden is president. You're you wearing because he. Hello, this is Donald Trump's policy. This is Donald Trump's national state of emergency. This is Donald Trump's all all these national mechanisms of, of the CDC of Dr. Anthony Fauci of the the coronavirus task force. The state of emergency that every state governor is allowed to declare to mandate masks is happening under the umbrella of Donald Trump's federal state of emergency. So, like, there's that level of st stupid here. Like, you're doing this to protest, but, but no, again, and, and, and the thing is, you could have been a little bit more clear about it, right? Like, if you, if you were wearing a swastika, like, you should have been wearing a Trump t-shirt. And like I support Trump, I'm I lick Trump's boots. And if you did that, like then it would be oh, okay, I get it. You're commenting on on Trump's fascism and authoritarianism. And well, really, what is the Nazi symbol? What is oh na nationalist social? Oh, is Trump a nationalist? Then <laughs> damn right. Is he a socialist? Oh yeah, just like every other Republican in Washington, and every other Democrat. Right? We have the Republican wing of the Socialist Party and the Democrat wing of the Socialist Party. All right, so I, I don't know. I, I is that enough can we, uh, uh, of the Nazi mask story? All right, because it gets better. We go to disrn.com video woman maces couple for not wearing masks in San Diego Park. CJ, just play the video. The audio from this thing is great. And what, what we see here, it, it looks like an elderly woman. Um, and according to the caption on this video, this is my husband. Okay. So, so this happened today at dusty roads dog park today 
in Ocean Beach. This is my husband getting maced by a random old lady. We had our three-month-old pug with us. We were just sitting down eating lunch and minding our own business. We were not wearing, wearing masks because we were eating. You can't wear a mask and eat at the same time. She kept calling us idiots and flipping me off. Then she started saying more stuff, and I told her to leave the park and stop harassing us. She then came right up to our table where we were eating, pointed the mace at me first, and got a little on me. And then my husband stepped in and took the entire can. Thank God for the by bystander that took this video because we are going to call the police now to press charges. I am sharing uh, this because we need people to watch out for this lady in San Diego. Please spread, please share to spread awareness. That is me crying hysterically in the background because my innocent husband just got maced for no reason. We want justice. CJ, give us give us the the, the audio from this. It, it's a very short video. What are you doing? You cannot be serious. You just you just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him. You just maced him and their food because you disagree. Don't worry, I'm videotaping. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you, CJ. Uh, I mean, this is this is just insanity. And you know, it's the, I, you'd point out the hypocrisy like on so many levels here. Why this is just it's so inappropriate but she's walking a dog who doesn't have a mask on oh my gosh it could be transmitted by animals you just pepper spray your own dog lady like and you know i've been i've been talking about you know passively resisting masks as in my policy of you know you just don't wear one unless you're asked right don't ever proactively air, wear one because you're contributing to the hysteria, you're contributing to the fear, and you're actually getting people hurt. You're actually going to get people killed. Now, in this case, I mean, getting pepper spray sucks. Like I've done it, I've I've been maced, uh, I've been pepper sprayed. Like I mean, I've been I've got pepper sprayed by uh, my ex girlfriend. <laughs> Not a bite. It, it, it was a test for a video. You can go watch the video. Adam versus the pepper spray and the taser. It's one of my favorites. And. Uh, I've been hit with CS gas, like as a spray at, at the protests in Boston, the uh, straight pride rally, um, at, at the protests outside of that one cop was going crazy. And that was not pepper spray. It was actually CS gas. It was different. Um, and that sucks. And the you know dogs got hit and, you know, just two innocent people sitting apart. What if it was someone with a respiratory condition who was actually not wearing a mask because they have a respiratory condition, but then they get pepper sprayed? And then they die. Like that, that. That's a real thing. Now, I, now that's that's. I'm. I, I'm. I don't want to use that as my reasoning here, right? Because that's a freak outlier case. But we're going to see that. But here's the thing: that's not the freak outlier case. That already in some places, we see the clear proof, not just in numbers, but in, in in testimony from doctors and healthcare professionals that suicides are outnumbering corona deaths. Now, why are they, why are there, why are there suicides happening? Like, and I was trying to do this research on this uh, over the weekend. And it, it, it's hard to find, like, the, there's not a lot of total stuff about, you know, total the, your proper analysis. There are a lot of stories about that are blaming the virus for the suicides, saying that, the, the first suicide due to the virus was a man who was sick in a hospital and waiting for test results and then jumped out the window. It's like, no, that's a crazy person who was pushed to suicide by coronaphobia hysteria, first of all. But they're saying, you know, and there probably are a few suicides that really genuinely are attributable to the coronavirus, not coronaphobia, right? They're probably, and, and, and this is like, is it a corona death or a corona suicide? It's, you blame it on Corona if you're, it's a case of someone who's oh shit I've I've got overwhelming symptoms I'm in pain I was gonna die soon anyway I was already pondering suicide but now that I've got Corona I can't say goodbye to my family I think I'm gonna die anyway I'm gonna be a pariah if I get out and recover you know psh, boom I'm out of here like okay fine. But what we're really seeing with the suicide rate increase is not from the coronavirus like that in either of those kinds of circumstances. 
it's from corona phobia right it's from the economic despair it's from the forced unemployment crisis so if you proactively wear a mask you are getting people killed you are contributing i don't want to say i don't want to exaggerate like that you're not but no you are contributing you are making it easier for the people to do the things that are stressing people out that are getting people killed and a lot of it too is, is not just the, the economic pressure with people being stuck at home people being isolated the loneliness the anxiety a lot of people with existing mental health issues that are aggravated, not just by the fear of the virus, but by the shutdowns, by the economic despair, by being uh, you know, isolated in their homes, subject to uh, emotional, physical abuse that's on the rise because people are cooped up in stressful circumstances. Like, yeah, so if you are actively contributing to this, if you are proactively wearing a mask, you are contributing to the fear mentality. You are contributing to the government's ability to, to hurt people financially and you are contributing to the suicide rate. You are contributing to people getting hurt. And with the mask itself, you're actually contributing to people getting sick. All of the science that we have seen shows nothing more than correlation as opposed to causation justifying wearing masks. And a lot of the studies that we have seen that sh show conclusively that there's no mitigating effect of wearing masks on the spread of a flu type virus in a laboratory setting there's also the increase negative outcomes from wearing a mask and one is you're going to touch your face more and and jim even in even in flagstaff where everybody was wearing a mask i was looking at least a quarter of them were not wearing them properly yeah and, and the most common thing was just their nose the nose like Or even around the chin, the mouth and nose totally exposed. The most common one was, was nose exposed. And so in practice, what, what is the effect of wearing masks? When, when you're rebreathing, you're not. Now, it, well, it restricts oxygen. Not, I'm not trying to make the case that that's like the reason it's bad, right? But look at the, what we actually have for evidence from studies about the negative health consequences of wearing masks. And the main one, I, I, as I recall from, from, from my research, is you can touch your face more. When medical professionals, when they go to deal with patients, they are in a trained, a controlled environment where they are hyper-conscious of, of germ transmission. They put on a mask, they, they, they scrub up, they put on a mask, they, they're wearing gloves, they don't touch their face, they don't touch a bunch of random surfaces and touch their face. But that's what people are doing who are trying to wear masks everywhere they go. As a result of touching your nose and mouth more, you're more likely to, to, to transmit something from a surface that you're touching to your face. You're also creating a moist environment where bacteria and viruses are more likely to be able to multiply and become a health threat. So the, the, those two things combined, right away you have this extra threat from wearing a mask, and if it doesn't have any benefit, why are we doing it? to signal conformity, right? To signal that we care about people. Now, being an unthinking, unthinking obedience to authority is a kind of uncaring laziness and disregard for your fellow human beings. Now, that's not to say that this is where things are all over the country. Our next story from the Associated Press some U.S. police resist enforcing coronavirus mask mandates. Lang Holland, chief of police in tiny Marshall, Arkansas, said he thinks the threat of the coronavirus has been overstated and only wears a face mask if he's inside a business that requires them. He doesn't make his officers wear them either. So the day after Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson signed an order requiring masks to be worn in public throughout Arkansas, Holland made it clear his department wasn't going to enforce the mandate in the Ozarks town of about 1,300, calling it an unconstitutional overreach. Well, you know, he doesn't actually have to do that, right? You know, you could just say, well, this is our policy in accordance with th you know, this order. If someone's not wearing a mask, we're just going to assume that they have a health condition and, and we can't ask them about it because of HIPAA. We're not allowed to violate someone's privacy that way because it's fundamentally unenforceable. But even with that, a lot of the just law enforcement are going, you know what, we can't. 
This is silly. So this is what the fight is over now because people want to force others to do this. Now, one of the things that is being used to justify this policy is, is, is a very dangerous counter factual propaganda, right? And, you, you know, your failure to understand does not alter reality here, okay? So the, the reality of the mandates, right? And, and if we are arguing, you know, the, the, the merits of the reasons for the mandates, we're missing the real point here that we should be making the case for, which is that no mandate for you to do something with your body is ever justified. My body, my choice, right? You know, what is the effect of this? When they say you are selfish because you're not wearing a mask. It's like wrong. Absolutely wrong. If you, and it's not just wrong, it's completely backwards. If you want to use the government to force me to change my behavior so that you can feel safe, you're being selfish. If you want to tell healthy people that they have to be quarantined so that you can feel safe, you're going to violate their freedom movement. And when they have no risk to anybody else, you are being selfish. If you want to punish me for doing something that I have a right to do so that you can feel safe, you are being selfish. And it's that's it's why we have, we have to fight back, not just against the faulty science being used to justify this, but the faulty logic at the very premise of this. And fortunately, law enforcement is split. And I don't think anywhere in the country are they really going to be able to enforce this, except where we see that, I don't know, they are, Hidalgo County in Texas, some very scary stay-at-home mandates for anybody in a household who tests positive or is in a household with someone who tests positive, having to you know make themselves available to county health department officials. I mean, it's insane. Or where they're saying, if you refuse to sign this paperwork because you tested positive, we're going to send agents to your house who are armed to force you to wear an ankle bracelet, as with the couple in Kentucky who experienced that. But in terms of like on the street in businesses, you know, Jim, like I really wanted someone to confront us at Walmart. I, re I mean, I really was kind of hoping someone would say, excuse me, sir, can you please wear a mask while you're in the store with a store policy? Like, well, actually, and, and, and to see what would happen if I challenge them, say, I have an exemption. And my exemption is I have a medical condition. It's called sanity and uh, resistance to group think that prevents me from playing your stupid game and wearing your silly slave muzzle. You know, no, I mean, I probably, I don't, I would, I, of course, I would have maintained general respect and decorum and not been, you know, dismissive in, in, in whatever I said. I mean, and I, I was, I was, in my mind, I was thinking either I'm going to say, well, I have a, I have an exemption. And they say, what is it? Well, you can't ask because it's my private right, you know. Um, and just, just assert it that way or, or say that, I, you know, I actually say I have a medical condition that I'm not supposed to, and I'm not supposed to wear a mask if they would have, oh, okay. And just, you know, just walked away and ignored it. Um, or, you know, let them call the police and then be able to put the police in their place um, or have the police get there and, and say, well, no, sir, I have a medical exemption. I know you can't know what it is. And I told them that, and now you need to arrest them for calling in a false police. Police, by the way, <laughs> they never arrest anybody for filing a false report unless it's like a murder accusation, right? Because they want people to file false reports. Like they want, like they don't want, like police aren't sitting there going, well, it's, we better hold people accountable for all crimes and make sure that, you know, people can't abuse. No, they want to be abused that way, right? So speaking of abuse, our next story about masks, newschannel5.com. Now, this is actually something that is, is a little old. This is um, almost two months old. Just came to my attention. Tennessee governor's free sock masks treated with registered pesticide. I wouldn't wear one, environmental expert says. Like, wait, 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 real, what? Like, how did we not hear about this? How is this not massive national news? Nashville, Tennessee from WTVF. Hundreds of thousands of Tennesseans have picked up free face masks provided by the state, never suspecting that those masks might carry their own health risks. 
but an exclusive News Channel 5 investigation has discovered that those face masks meant to slow the spread of COVID-19 were treated with a controversial substance that is registered as a pesticide. That substance is an antimicrobial designed to ward off odors. I wouldn't wear one, said Dr. Warren Porter, a professor of environmental toxicology, the University of Wisconsin in Madison, a board member of the environmental group Beyond Pesticides. Nobody wants to breathe in COVID, but I wouldn't want to be breathing in something that I also knew could be poisoning my body in a relatively short period of time and might be having multi-year effects on my health. Oh, geez. All right, hold on. You just where I, I want to move on, but I, I got just to finish the story. I got, as part of Governor Bill Lee's push to reopen Tennessee's economy, the state ordered five million nose and mouth coverings from the Renfro Corporation, a North Carolina based stock maker. Cost to taxpayers, dun, da, 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 drum roll, please, comment, Jim. Yeah, $8.2 million. I mean, I have to go back to just remind people, like, what is this all about? The rich get richer, the poor get poor. The fundamental mission of government in the first place. 